What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Saturday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Connie, and the NBA playoffs are upon us. Repping the Phoenix Suns, Steve Nash jersey to get things kicked off. The play-in tournament was incredibly fun. I enjoyed that immensely. We end up finishing with the 7 and 8 seeds both, the, both in the East and the West. It was just a matter of how they got there. But... When the t- play-in tournament first became a thing, I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, why complicate things? This should be so easy. That was fun. Those were four fun basketball games. Well, one, two, three, six fun basketball games. I have no complaints about that. We won our Bulls Heat parlay last night with the points pretty easily, actually. And then on the flip side, because Minnesota whooped OKC, uh, Gildas Alexander finished two points shy of completing that parlay. So that was a bit of a bummer. So one and one on the parlays, but it was fun. And then we did add later on um, a Chicago Cubs team total. If you follow me on Twitter, I added that. So it was a two and one day, which was good. And then today it's all NBA and the games start early. So a couple fun things here to start with is futures. Now, I've got a couple futures in the finals that I bet preseason. I've got the Bucks at plus 800 to win the title. I've got the Warriors at plus 600. The Lakers at plus 1,800. And the Nets at plus 700 because, well, they had a much different team way back when. So I might play off that a little bit. The Cel- I mean, it's tough though, right? Because the odds on the Celtics are like plus 350. So ideally, I'd like to have the final four. And this is tough. I've, I've been trying to do a full bracket for like a week. And I can't really get past. It's it hard. This is going to be the best NBA playoffs I think we've seen in a long time. The super teams are gone. We have more parity than ever. And you've got first round matchups like Lakers, Grizzlies. I don't know who's going to win that. That's a two versus seven. I don't know. You even have, um, you know, Nuggets and... Um, Timberwolves, that could be an exciting series. You've got a, a lot of exciting stuff. Then you get into Grizzlies, Warriors. You've got Kings, Warriors. There's so many fun things. So, um, again, I've got Bucks, Warriors, plus 800, plus 1600. It's probably my one East, my one West. I might add a West and an East. Maybe the Celtics, maybe the Suns, and we'll see. But to get started today, um, here's the thing with NBA basketball. There are very rarely upsets. Now, there are a few. I think Cavs-Knicks is a tough matchup. I don't want to touch Lakers-Grizzlies in the first round. But 76ers, Celtics, Bucks, Suns, and Nuggets to win the first round in a parlay is minus 105. So it's essentially an even money parlay. You've got the 76ers facing the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Or no, sorry. You've got the 76ers are facing the Brooklyn Nets, right? They're going to win that series, let's be honest. You've got the Boston Celtics facing the Atlanta Hawks. They're going to win that series. You've got the Milwaukee Bucks up against now the Miami Heat. They're going to win that series. You've got the Phoenix Suns. They're going to win that series. You've got the Denver Nuggets against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're going to win that series. Um, Of course, the Suns. Who are the Suns playing? Blanking. It's early in the morning, and our daughter had us up very late. The <laughs> Suns are playing the Clippers, and they're going to be without Paul George. So I don't think they have a shot there. So if you combine all five of those to win the series in any fashion, it's minus 105. That's at FanDuel. So I'm taking Philly, Boston, Milwaukee, Phoenix, and Denver. I'm not going to analyze all five series. They're going to win those series, and that's going to be a nice little parlay. That's the, the nice thing about the first round of the NBA. Moving into something a little bit more current matchups today. The spreads on these games are massive, right? And I don't like that. It's still the playoffs. So Philadelphia is our eight-point favorites against the Brooklyn Nets. And the Boston Celtics are 10-point favorites against the Atlanta Hawks. I don't like that very much. (laughs) So let's pull these totals down to three on the spread for each. And you've got a minus 124 parlay at FanDuel. This season, when Philadelphia played the Brooklyn Nets, they won all four matchups. Before the trades, after the trades, they won 115-106. They won 137-133. Those were both the games that were in Philly. In Brooklyn, which was in February and April, they won 101-98. And they won 134-105. So the most recent game six days ago was an ass whooping. I look for that to continue. I don't think Brooklyn has any shot. This might be a four or five game series. Uh, But I don't like these 10 points because you just never know. It's still an NBA team. It's still the playoffs. It's going to be Philly minus two and a half. And then with Boston and Atlanta, 
You've got Boston. They played four times this season. Boston won 107-98, 126-101, 134-125, and 120-114. That was also most recently six days ago. Boston, as previous to that, has also won the two matchups before that, dating back even further. Boston is the better team. Boston is at home. Boston expects to win the NBA championship this year. They're not mucking about in the first round here and against an Atlanta Hawks team that struggled even in the play-in tournament a little bit against Miami. So I'm taking the Philadelphia 76ers by three, Boston, well, by two and a half, and Boston by two and a half. That's a minus 124 parlay at FanDuel. And my other bet today is the Sacramento Kings on the money line against the Golden State Warriors. This has become a very, perhaps the most intriguing series of the first round. You have a lot of people with tickets for Sacramento to go far in this. You've got a lot of people with tickets for Golden State to win the whole thing. Self-included. Granted, that was bet preseason. I still think the Golden State Warriors win this series. But I think the Sacramento Kings can take game one here. This is essentially a coin flip. It's one point on either side. This is this is literally, the books have said, this is a coin flip. Throw a coin up in the air. We'll see what happens. When these two teams played this season in four games, you had Sacramento, sorry, you had Golden State win 130-125. That was in Golden State. You had them in 116-113. That was in Golden State. You had them on November 13th. They lost 122-115 or Sacramento won. That was in Sacramento. And their most recent matchup, which was five days ago, was Golden State at Sacramento. And the Warriors won 119-97. Sacramento didn't play a lot of their players. It's tough to say to make any sort of determination in the last week of the season. Golden State was terrible on the road this year, 11-30. and 30. Uh, Sacramento was 23-18 and 18 at home. The Warriors are a young team with very little experience. That's either going to work for them or against them. Some people say that doesn't really matter anymore. It's not, you know, home court isn't that big of a deal and experience isn't that big of a deal. I will disagree with that. I think you have to lose before you can win, but I think they can catch the Warriors here based strictly on momentum, on energy, and on tempo, where the Warriors might sit back and go, okay, we're going to be okay. Slow and steady. We've been here a million times. Um, Andrew Wiggins is expected to return. How much he's going to play, we don't know. He hasn't played in about a month. So I think the Sacramento Kings can come up with a big win today, but I don't think they can win this series. But on a coin flip, I will take the Sacramento Kings, especially on uh, uh, on the home court against a team that struggled mightily on the road. So it is the first day of the NBA playoffs. I'm very excited. I absolutely love the NBA playoffs. We're really getting into it now. NHL starts soon, but here we are. So here is your Saturday card for the NBA playoffs. Uh, for a future bet, I'm taking the Philadelphia 76ers, Boston Celtics, Milwaukee Bucks, Phoenix Suns, and Denver Nuggets to all advance to round two. That's a minus 108 parlay at FanDuel. I'm taking the... Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics each by two and a half points tonight for a minus 124 parlay at FanDuel. And I'm taking the Sacramento Kings on the money line, minus 110 at DraftKings. As always, drop a comment if you're fading or following. You can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Conian for more picks and props later today. I might post some more futures today. TikTok and Instagram for just the picks portions. Audio versions available on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. It's a beautiful day. It's, we only have today and tomorrow in Toronto for it to be really nice. So enjoy it. Let's talk NBA basketball and let's talk sports.